Hello, you join me from inside the van this time, which is uh, watertight and top all in free, you'll be happy to hear. Um, it's all past MOT, so I'm very happy at the minute. Um, so seeing as all the mechanical work has been done on the outside, I just thought I'd share some updates on what I'm planning for the inside. Um, I've been uh, 3D modelling a lot of the internal fixtures, uh, more specifically the electrical system and the battery frame that holds all the batteries in place while you're going along. Um, so I just thought I'd share what I've come up with really and um, how the results turned out. So I'll see you there. Right, so what I've done is mocked up the battery frame in CAD. This will just give us a, a very basic idea of what the, the frame will look like in the van. Um, and it's a very simple design made out of this aluminium profile that will give us a nice superstructure to house our batteries in. Um, so if I remove this shelf here, we can see underneath. And the batteries will be held in place by this 30mm steel angle section um, that will bolt to the frame directly. And then we'll use the same angle section to bolt the frame to the floor of the van. So this should be very secure and the frame itself is very strong. So in the middle here, we're going to have a shelf that will house all our electronic equipment that will connect directly to the batteries and then go off to the rest of the van and then on the top we're going to have our bed rafters um, so the frame actually serves three purposes which is quite convenient and now all we need to do is see how well this translates into the van so i've got these pieces of 30 mil aluminium extrusion which you can put together in these convenient box shapes um, using these cube connectors that go on the end here and the countersunk screw just goes in there so what I've done is tap the end of that so I can put that on there and make a nice sturdy frame for my batteries to sit on top of um, so I've put that together now so I've cut the aluminium to the size that I want and screwed them all together with these cube sections on the end I've uh, also cut these 30mm pieces of mild steel angle and drilled some holes in the end which I can secure to the frame with these special T-slot nuts um, and these angle pieces will sit on top of the frame like so and be secured with the nuts and then our battery will sit on top of that nice and securely and we can lash it to the frame that way so that's done now, I've got two bits of mild steel angle for the batteries to sit on. What I'm also going to do though, is get some of this foam tape, just as a bit of vibration resistance, and sort of line each piece, so it sort of uh, protects the batteries a bit while we're going along, and stops them from making any racket. And next thing to do is to try and uh, build this frame up a bit, and create a shelf for our electronics to sit on when we get around to doing that. So you can see this frame is getting a bit more substantial now. Um, I've added these vertical sections and these horizontal sections, that's what the shelf is going to sit on. And I've also 3D printed these right angle brackets, which are pretty strong, so I'm happy with those. Um, and so what that creates is a bit of a shelf. And I've also cut a piece of wood that goes in there. Like so. And that is what our electronics equipment is going to sit on uh, when we're ready to install that. So the last piece of the puzzle is just this big square section, which is a mirror image of the floor section. And that just goes on top, like so. And that is likely what our bed rafters are going to sit on but it also helps keep the frame nice and sturdy um, so that's complete now so we can stick it in the van and see what it looks like and there we are that's the frame in the van we have our electronic shelf our batteries sat on our mild steel angle which are lashed down with these ratchet straps here so that's nice and secure now it's not going anywhere um, so I'm quite happy with that so I hope you found that useful. If you want to find out more about what I'm doing with the van and the project in general, then I'll leave a link to 
my website in the description below and I'll also leave a link to an article that I'm writing as well. Um, so thanks for watching.